Hello everyone, it's Aeon from Low Expectations, and today, let's talk about Havoc Demon Hunter. The Havoc Demon Hunter is simple to play, but damn does it feel good. There's one main mechanic, Fury. You have abilities that will build Fury and those that will spend it. Fury generating abilities are Demon Bite, your Interrupt, Destruct, and your Purge, Consume Magic. Yes, interrupting a target or purging off a buff will reward you with resource. The only other way of gaining fury is from your demonic appetite talent. This will cause soul fragments you summon to give you 30 fury. On top of this, Chaos Strike will then have a chance to spawn soul fragments. Keep an eye out for these souls if you take the talent. You will then spend it on Chaos Strike for single target and Blade Dance for AoE. After that you have Eye Beam which you will use for both. A quick side note, if you take the first blood talent you want to Blade Dance even on single target. Next is your major cooldown, Metamorphosis. You transform into a full-blown demon empowering your Chaos Strike and Blade Dance. These empowerments replace your current keybinds, so no need to make extra ones. These have no extra mechanics, they just hit harder, so smash those keybinds. A key note to Metamorphosis is during the animation you are immune to damage. You can use this to dodge deadly mechanics. Now there are more layers of complexity, however with balancing happening every week, everything changes. But if it is something that you are interested in, I suggest you check out the Wowhead Guides and Demon Hunter Discord. They keep all of this up to date. So what are the strengths of a Demon Hunter? Simply your CC and Utility Toolkit. You have a ranged interrupt, a purge and an AoE stun. All of these will reward you with resource. You also have a CC in the form of Imprison, and anything you touch takes 5% increased magical damage from everyone. On top of all that, you have a 10% flat damage reduction to magical damage. This is a passive, and so it's up all of the time. Your next major strength is Mobility. You have two charges of Fell Rush and Vengeful Retreat, giving you lots of tools to deal with anything thrown your way. And lastly is your defensives. You have a 20% flat damage reduction on a 1 minute cooldown in the form of Blur. You can even upgrade this with talents to make it into an immunity. Next is Darkness. You place a pool of dark magic at your feet and allies within it have a 20% chance to completely avoid damage. Yes, completely. It is RNG, but it can be pretty damn strong in certain situations. And now onto weaknesses. Simply you have one. Demon Hunters struggle with spread cleave. If the target is not within arm's reach, you lose value. However, this is the only real weakness, you know, next to Blizzard's balancing. So those are the strengths and weaknesses. Now within the Shadowlands, you can join a Covenant. Each one offers you a brand new ability, so let's go over them. The Kyrian will offer you Elysian Decree. Place a rune on the floor that will explode after a short duration, dealing damage to all targets and generating soul fragments. This is pretty good for AoE and combos nicely with your demonic appetite talent. If you join the Necro Lords, you will be given fodder to the flames. Summon a demon that will fixate to you. If you kill it, it will drop a pool of blood on the floor and spawn a demon soul. Standing in the blood would give you a 15% damage reduction and picking up the soul would give you a 20% damage increase. With this, you can stack it into other enemies and AoE it down. However, it does gain a stacking damage increase the longer it survives, so don't ignore it for too long. And now the Night Fae, they will offer you the Hunt. After a short cast, you charge at the target, dealing damage and leaving a damage over time effect. And for the next 30 seconds, 20% of the damage you deal to the target will heal you. This is a nice mix of damage and survivability. And last but not least is Venthyr. They will offer you Sinful Brand. Place the damage over time effect on a target and slow their casting and attack speed. However, when you enter Metamorphosis, all targets within range will have Sinful Brand applied to them. This effect will happen even if the ability is on cooldown. Now I cannot tell you which one is the best. However, what I can say is, pick what you enjoy, as you are able to switch to a covenant you have never been to before with two clicks in Ouroboros. So pick what you want. If it turns out to be great, perfect, and if it doesn't, you can change. The only time it becomes a pain to change is if you try to go back to a covenant you've already left. Now that's all from me. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments section below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, guys, have a good one.